I deserve good things. I am entitled to my share of happiness. I refuse to beat myself up. I am an attractive person. I am fun to be with. I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Have the Holy Spirit ask you that question. Why do you pass judgment? Let me ask you this. Who do you pass judgment on? Is there an individual? You're very judgy of them. Is there a group of people that you're very judgy of them? The question is, why do you do that? Or why do you despise your brother? Because this is step one, judge. Step two, despise. Despise. Like, I hate them. I leak or vent or I speak ill of them. This is unhealthy. It's not the fruit of the spirit. It's the works of the flesh. And sometimes you're like, well, I didn't mean to attack and critique and despise them. We started by judging them. God's going to judge you. God's going to judge them. God may judge them for their behavior. God may judge you for your judgment of their behavior. So if God is going to judge them and judge you, don't judge them. Let him judge you. For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. Let me say this. None of you will be sitting on Jesus' lap on judgment day. <laughs> Jesus, I'm here, here to help. He's like, get up. This is not your seat. You and I will not be judging one another. Jesus will. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of who? Himself. To God. You will not stand before God and give an account to them. You will stand before God and give an account for you. And they will stand before God and give an account to them. And so it's like, well, they're wrong and they need to be judged. And Jesus is like, and that's my job. And while we're at it, you're wrong and need to be judged too. I'm working on both of you. How many of you are a parent and your kids are fighting and you realize that they both need work? God is a father. This is how he operates. Sometimes when the kids are fighting, the father says, I love you both. I accept you both. You're not getting along. You both need some work. So don't worry about them. Worry about you. Let me deal with you both. So in our day, it doesn't matter whether you're a Christian or not, the preponderance of people are not looking up to God. They're looking down on others. Just in our age of social media and half-truths and technological flamethrowing, it's just judging, 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 looking down. You're wrong. You're wrong. That was wrong. You said this wrong. You did this wrong. Everybody's got a gavel. And, and, and the key is not to look down, judging them, but to look up to him who is the judge. And I'll tell you this, when I, when I look up to Jesus, I, I really can't see what you're doing. And when I ask Jesus, okay, judge me, that list gets so long so fast, I really don't have time to hassle with you. Okay, Mark, here's your sins, here's your follies, here's your pride, here's your legalism, here's your liberalism, here's your bad attitude, here's your self-righteousness, here's your laziness. Like, oh my gosh, okay, Lord. I, yeah, okay, Holy Spirit, I need help. There's a lot I gotta work on. I don't have time. I don't have time and energy to judge you because I'm too busy letting him judge me. I don't have time. I don't have time and energy to judge you because I'm too busy letting him judge me. And when this happens, what it leads to is an attitude of humility that says, okay, hey, brother, sister, here's what God's convicted me of. Here's what he's shown me. Here's what I'm working on. How can I pray for you? How do we encourage one another rather than judging one another? How do we help one another rather than hinder one another? How do we build one another up instead of beat one another down? And if Jesus is the judge of us both, it allows us to be the servant of one another. And so what he's talking about here is in every church, there's always somebody that wants to play what Jesus calls the plank spec game. The plank spec game is this. I've got a two by four in my head and you've got a speck of sawdust in your eye and I'm really bothered by it. And I feel like we need to have a meeting and talk about it. You're like, what about the two by four? You're like, ah, uh, just ignore that. <laughs> and the point is this, we tend to be far more worried about their sin than our sin. And sometimes we overlook the fact that our attitude is a lot worse than their action. And what happens in the church, there are always people that show up and they wanna play the plank spec game. And what he says, he uses three words. He says, judgment, quarrels, and despise. I'm here to judge. And then they get everybody else involved. Now there's a quarrel. And now these people hate those people. These people are against these people. 
The people who seek to do this oftentimes, my observation, number one, they're seeking to lead in a place that they shouldn't be leading because they're not leading in the place they should be leading. If you want to lead, start with you. My first year teaching, lesson planning was rough. Then I found education.com and realized every I just tell America this. Everybody's telling everybody else what to do. And if everybody just took care of themselves, uh, the, the needs would go down pretty considerably. If you're married and have a family, lead your family. And don't just show up at church and tell every other family what to do. Do it at home. Leadership starts with you. Leadership starts with your family. And what happens is there are always people that show up and they're the weakest conscience, so they're most judgmental. And the result is they will create a lot of noise trying to create quarrels so that then we're despising one another. And that just shows that the weak people are leading. Now, let me say this. Rather than looking down on one another, look up to him. And when the weak people show up and they come with their list of commands and demands, love them, but tell them that they're weak. Now their opinions are strong, but their faith is weak. Tell them that they're weak. Tell them that they're weak. List of commands and demands, love them, but tell them that they're weak. And when the weak people show up and they come with their list of commands and demands, love them, but tell them that they're weak. And when the weak people show up and they come with their list of commands and demands, love them, but tell them that they're weak. Now their opinions are strong, but their faith is weak. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> 